Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing this war of mine and uh, we're going to try to do a Chad run here. We're going to make Roman a Chad. Last night I went to the toy store again and just gathered up some more supplies. You can see the supplies that I got here. I needed three wood to make the hatchet. And then the hatchet is going to enable us to break down the wood in our house so we can get more wood. It looks like we were attacked, but we were able to fend them off, and Roman is fine. But Bruno is slightly wounded. So we did get Bruno yesterday. And basically, Bruno is a good cook. If he's slightly wounded, let's go ahead and bandage him. And he's very tired, jeez. Roman is fine. Okay, let's go down and make the hatchet here. And that's going to enable us to build quite a lot of things. We're going to try to stick with one bed. And then let's try to anticipate where we need to break down stuff. So probably over here. Ramon needs to go up here. Oh, the traitor's here. Katia's got to get up. Time to get to work, Katia. Sorry, gal. What are you doing? Must be misclicking or something. Okay, so Bruno wasn't depressed and Katia likes the coffee. I could use the sugar for a still to make alcohol. And we've got the medicinal alcohol there. Okay, let's take all the wood first. Okay, now we're being generous. So you can use the wood to kind of like refine the trade so that you can really get precise about the trade to make it as equal as possible. Okay, this is a suspicious trade here. And if you guys didn't know, Katia is the trading queen. He's the queen of all trades. Why doesn't this guy have water? Vegetables are going to come in handy. It's going to be nice not having to haul around all that junk as well. Okay, we're going to have to give away some high dollar items here. I think Bruno was only slightly sick. Okay, very generous. Let's start taking things away. Two things of medicine. How can we get... Maybe we get the sugar and the junk? I'd rather have the junk. And I think that's all the components we're going to need from him. Oh, Bruno was slightly wounded, so we need a bandage. Oh, I know what to trade. Oh, 
Wow, that medical alcohol is not trading well. That's interesting. Okay, now we can have a deal. Is there anything else that I can use to balance this bad boy out? I think I got to take the can off. All right. Oh my goodness, he went, never went to bed. Slightly wounded, bandaged, and very tighter, tired. Okay, come on, get into bed there. Thank you. She in the bed? <laughs> She's like curled up on the base of the bed. At the end of the bed, that's crazy. We're gonna be able to build so much stuff. Come on, Bruno. Start building stuff. The raiders keep on hitting us, so let's go ahead and upgrade this next. Just to be on the safe side. Priority in this game has to be not losing stuff. You will lose the game if you're constantly getting stuff stolen from you. Come on, bro. I know you're tired, but you gotta run. And then we can go out there and chop something down from the treehouse. I lied to you guys. I said you guys would go there the first time and never go back. It looks like there is another reason to go back there. I'm going to keep the bandages and the medicine because these guys tend to get hurt quite a bit. And this is an all random playthrough, so I don't know, maybe the raiders are just super aggressive or we just need to base build more and then they'll go elsewhere. I'm not sure. And I'm not entirely sure where we should go next turn. I keep checking Katia to make sure that when the very tired goes away, Bruno's going to have to sleep. So the next thing to do, we need water. Let's get the rainwater catchment plan going here. And then Bruno can make the moon shine still. Sorry, Ramon can make the moon shine still. Bruno's over here slacking because he's too tired. Could take out this chair. Let's wait till we absolutely need it. Just place it right next to the bed, the fumes. It'll be okay. Don't worry about it, guys. I think I'm going to make this video a lot longer because it's the middle of the round, but... So we're on day nine. But I think we just need to blast through a few days here. And I think it's going to be interesting what happens with the different locations. Okay, she's just tired. Okay, go grab something to eat. Oh, I need another water. Okay, what else can we build? So we essentially have two weapons. Could make a crowbar. Which I apologize, guys. I did not know that a crowbar could unlock locks. And I've been playing this game for quite a while, so... Thank you guys for telling me about that one. We're not going to build a radio. Uh, rat traps would be nice. We don't have enough sprockets. Okay, let's go ahead. 
build the crowbar then. Take that in our next raid. And probably need the saw as well. You just sit down since you're tired. So we need to prioritize sprockets and we got all the sprockets out of toy store and I think everywhere else we've been. So it might be nice to go someplace else. The next time the trader comes, we're going to have a lot of alcohol, hopefully, to sell. Yeah, let's get at least one saw blade. Maybe there's a location where I can employ that saw blade. And we'll just end the day there. Roman is going to guard. And Bruno's going to sleep in bed. Katya's got the bigger backpack. So she's going to go head out into the world. So we could do supermarket. Shell Brewery can get pretty nasty. So can the supermarket. So pretty much all we have is danger, caution, advised. Lots of food, huge amount of materials, huge amount of weapons. Okay, let's do the bakery. Should be able to get through anything here. I think I've done the bakery once. I can't remember quite what happened here, so. Okay, someone's lighting up a cigarette. I hear that. If I remember correctly, the downstairs were pretty safe and people were living upstairs. Okay. Make sure to close the door behind me so no one knows I'm here. Okay, they're right up here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to grab everything. Just in case someone happens upon me and I have to run out of here. We're going to crowbar this door open. going to be very loud. Hey, okay, the sounds are still up there. Oh no, we have to steal. I guess we don't have to steal. See what type of stuff they have. Oh my goodness, it's a treasure trove. Okay, look away, guys. It's gonna get nasty. Why would there be medicine in a bakery? Probably shouldn't ask questions at this point. Okay, we got medicine and then we have wood. Oh, someone went out here to smoke. Oh my goodness. Well, the medicine was 10 out of 10. The guy out here. Let's get greedy. We're going Chad here. We gotta win this war. The door is boarded up, so we could go top level. I wanna see what's in there. There's someone in here? Are you still suffering from the eye pain?
It's getting better. You typically hear people if they're there. Oh, wow, we're stealing all over the place, guys. Sprockets, exactly what we needed. Well worthwhile. Like some more bullets. Those people did not look very formidable. Okay. This is essential. So we got armor. Everything that we need. This is a Chad dream here. We have to repair it, but still. There's our assault rifle. God, we didn't need the saw blade at all. A okay, bunch of wood. And there's some down here, too. I think if we go down, I don't know if we're going to be able to get back up. Another bullet. Okay, we're going to YOLO it. Uh, you don't know how to reach that place. Okay, so we have to get past these people to reach that place? Sucks. Let's just get out of here. They're going to know that someone was here anyway. Half their stuff is gone. All right, I believe Bruno is going to cook this round. Uh oh, she feels bad. We've been raided again. It's like hyper raiders. Okay. Bruno is feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye on him. Someone tried to rob us, uh, but we fended them off. We were all armed. Bruno was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. Oh, man, Bruno, you're such a liability, bro. Bandages. Okay, I'm glad that I stole then, in this case. Chop, chop. What matters is that we have the supplies. How we got them is less of a concern. Well, how do you feel about this, Bruno? We we can cry over stealing once we survive this hell. And then, uh, what are we doing here, Katya? You having a moral struggle? The city used to be welcome everybody with open arms. I love the old town cafes where I could meet new friends from all over the world. Will people ever become the easygoing this easy going again if we make it through i must do what i can to help them remember how it was because we can can't accomplish a lot if we just stand together yikes she's sad now yeah bruno is gonna cook yeah let's get some more rainwater going of course the rainwater i don't think works during the winter I know it doesn't work during the winter. Let's have make this all at once. So maybe we can gather some rainwater here. I think we have enough time. I thought, oh, we don't have the capabilities of making the assault rifle yet. It's okay. We got time on the Chad build. I'm not worried about that. Let's start getting more food going. I usually put these in the basement. Just seems more appropriate. I don't know. Oh, we can make the guitar. However, we won't be able to make much else. I wonder if any of us can play guitar. Oh, man. Yeah, let's make it. Let's 
Some music would be nice anyways. Roman's got to be able to play. I know Bruno doesn't play. I don't know about Katia. Got a 50-50 chance at least, I feel like, that one of them plays. Okay, and that's why we've been collecting um, these scraps to put in the rad traps. And I don't think I can make another one, but we'll try. Okay, can you play? He can play a little, it looks like. It's not sounding great. It's not sounding too bad. Uh oh, someone's at the door. It's me again. Yesterday I saw a band of shady looking types watching my house. I'm so scared they might try to rob us or worse. I have a teenage daughter. Can you please protect us for a night or two? You can use my hun husband's sh hunting shotgun. Oh, man. Give me a sec. Okay, he's hungry. Let's have Bruno cook something before he goes. Oh, she's hungry too. Jeez. And sad. I think they all drink too. We might be able to drink the alcohol we make. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Darn it. And he's well fed. So we kind of have to go now if we're going to take a look, take advantage of this. Let's have Bruno cook again. We almost have the water to do that. And then I, I don't know what's going to happen if Ramon goes. At least he's the right person for the job. Forget if I have another consumable there. Nice. Okay, so this means that Bruno's going to have to fend for himself overnight. Yikes. Can we patch things up a bit? Okay, go get training, Roman. Go take some heads off. Make me proud. Okay, I guess we're done with the base upgrades. Right. I'm not sure helping our neighbor is worth the risk. Bruno's kind of a sourpuss. And then I'm so relieved we agreed to help our neighbor in distress. Excellent. Let's have her just eat real quick. See what the upgrade here is. Oh, we need five sprockets. Okay, we get the five sprockets. And then we upgrade and upgrade the door. And once we have the door upgraded, we're we're good. All right, at least Katya is not sad anymore. Lifted her spirits. The men seem to be a little callous. A little uncaring. But Katya's got a heart of gold. All right, no debuffs except for Bruno, who is going to have to guard because they are aggroing us all the time. Okay, we could go airport... 
trying to remember what we need for that. Go hospital, music club, or port. Let's go port. I don't think we need to steal at port. I think that there's only one type of port. And we will need a saw blade and a crowbar. We need to find sprockets. Got everything else. It's going to be a huge amount of materials here. That's on the way out, so I'm just going to let that be. Okay, tons of wood. Okay, so the military stuff is in there. Grab all that. There's a sprocket. And the port is typically where you can exit Pogrin, uh, but you need to pay a high price to do that. I think it's diamonds or something of that nature. You need to have like four or five diamonds and some other things. I'm not sure. But typically there's a guy at the end of your playthrough that, that comes to the door and says, hey, I can get you out of here. But you got to pay me X, Y, and Z. And then there's an area up here to steal from. I don't want to steal. I don't want to make Katya sad. She is our all-star tra trader. The all-star economist. She greases the wheels of this playthrough here. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Okay, they're going to have to deal without their cigarettes. And Katya is going to have to deal without her coffee. Teddy bears. I don't think so. Oh, look at that. In Roman's hands, it's going to be awesome. Okay, a few more sprockets. The dude at the end here is pretty cool. I just want to see if we can't get more sprockets or high dollar items. There it is. Handgun. Very nice. We're definitely going to have to do a more thorough search here. We already have a gun. Yes, I could stash this here for later. His sprockets are really hard to come by, and we already have a guitar. I may choose not to come back here. So now I'm going to look for some stackable items. Oh, you can sit there. Ahoy, my friend. Would you like to get away from this place? He actually said ahoy. I love it. Okay, we just want to find more items to stack. It's always uh, crazy to see that guy hanging up in the rafters there. How did he get there? A lot of questions going on here. A lot of verticality to this map here, too. A lot of scenery there. Okay, I think that that is the private quarters. And I've had it glitch before where I haven't stolen anything, but it said, oh, I feel so bad because I stole things from this person. 
So I don't want to get anywhere close to a private area where I could be accused of stealing. Oh my goodness. Choices. Okay, so we have to craft these items. We seem to be coming across a lot of bullets. Meds are premium materials. The other thing is I already have an assault rifle, right? Oh my goodness. There's there's these meds too. For crafting. It would be nice if everyone had a gun, but then we're start we're gonna start consuming bullets if that's the case. I need the sprockets to build. I need this we can come back. We can come back. I'm more concerned about building. I want that second assault rifle. Just in case. And there's two guitars to pick up. I think this is worth a another scav run. And then I can ditch my crowbar so that we can pick up even more stuff. Sometimes the city is cut in half, though, by the conflict. So you can't count on going back to where you're you were. The night was calm. All right. On his back, he helped protect our neighbor against thugs and brought back some gun ammo. Yeah. Very tired. Who else is very tired? She's tired. He's tired. But not very tired. So this is going to produce two food. This that's fine for now. We got two people awake. Let's get some water going. Oh, I hit the wrong thing again. I must be tired, guys. I'm sorry. Just make those one at a time. What I've learned to do. Oh, he's not even hungry. Because he was well fed. What luck, like Katia met a guy who can save me from this hell. We must find a way to pay him. Okay, so that was the guy at the wharf. Oh, he does have enough stuff. Okay, well, let's make that. That'll feed everyone else. I would like to upgrade the metal workshop so that we could defend the base. Either upgrade would be fine, to be honest with you. Oh, we got some food. What it takes over here. Okay, so we have the advanced workshop upgrade. That's going to be 15 wood. We're bottlenecking at wood and junk. How much is it to upgrade this? Don't have enough to upgrade that. Okay, is there anything else we want to build in the meantime? I mean, we could do another rat trap. Let's go ahead and upgrade the workshop. That was quick. I don't know if Bruno makes it quicker. Some of the characters make uh, the rat trap a little quicker. Oh, wow, she's content. Very nice. Next thing we're going to have you do, Kati, is play a little guitar. But he's very tired. I want him up tonight so that he can guard and Bruno can sleep. And Katia can sleep the next night. Okay, so we're going to need this door. A lot of junk, a lot of wood. Hmm. I don't think there's much else we can build, to be honest with you guys. Oh, the trader's here. Katia seems to uh, be able to 
Quite a little bit. It's good to know. This Carol guy, Katia met at the port, might smuggle us out. We will have enough to pay him. That's right, my friend. And you're going to be the one to deliver payment. See what we can do about trading. So many bullets. I love it. And no one was wounded, right? Water. Guns. We need all of this stuff. Okay, what do I have to trade? I have alcohol, meds. Gotta be kidding me. Katia is just balling out of control here. I don't even know if we need the lockpicks since we have the crowbar, to be honest with you. You gotta think that these consumables are worth, like, the filter is worth junk. The firewood is worth wood. So, that's wood that we're not gonna have to break down later, so well worth the pickup if you're able to do it. Okay. Let's go alcohol. Fine, we have a deal. Okay, this is a little perplexing because I'm not sure what to do about it. Okay, we'll do try harder. I can work with that. Okay, what else can we give them that's like a lower amount? One or two sugars? Not gonna give him any of this stuff, except for the sugar. I guess I could give, rather than giving away sugar, the books would be better to give away. And yes, I'm gonna need all that stuff for sure. I mean, we could take a can away and go like this and then work backwards from there. And then we have to try harder again. Put the sugar back. We're kind of self-sufficient with the food. Another can would be nice, though. And six books is kind of steep. Maybe get the uh, crappier cigarettes for Bruno. Bruno seems pretty content about anything. Like anything could happen and he'd be fine with it. Eh, someone died. It's okay. As long as I can sit around the house and eat, it's all good. Okay. Tent, tired. Very tired. Okay, now what can we do? We need seven junk for the door. The reinforced door is going to make us super sturdy. I can make another one of these traps. Man, 
Man, vegetables would be nice to have. Pretty expensive. I don't want to get rid of any of my junk, though. Can we upgrade this? Okay, so we're gonna need 17 junk or wood, but I mean, we're gonna need as much wood as possible. So I'm gonna write this down. We're gonna go back to the port and get 17 junk. So it's gonna be, we're gonna be five slotted with junk and two slotted with wood. I'm wondering if there's anything else we're gonna need the wood for though. What was the bottleneck here? Junk again, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna need 24 junk. Writing this down so I remember. Yeah, 24. And then if we even wanted to build this, Or no, we would be out of junk at that point, so we would need another 30. So we just basically need as much junk as we can possibly haul. Wow. That's 47 junk. And then another 16 wood, so that's 20 wood. I don't know if she can get that in one haul. She has 12 slots, 4, 8, 48. Actually, if she just got... If she was full with junk... We might get pretty close to what we need. So this is why I said it was going to be a little longer of a video. We need to start min-maxing, so we... Since we have these tasks for... Our heroes to do here, we gotta keep them busy. People are desperate to get out of Pogren. I wonder, though, if this smuggler can be trusted. Actually, I should have Bruno do all the tasks. Because I think he uses less water. If I'm not mistaken. And then it's best to kind of wait until you have vegetables to cook because you can cook for less resources. Okay, did, we're not going to get alcohol or anything else to trade. Let's end the day here. Trader seems to be coming a lot around quite a bit. We're going to scavenge. We're going to guard with you. You're well fed, but you're tired. You can sleep in the bed. And, um, man, that port was money. You're going to go in with nothing. I just wonder how valuable. the guitars are, and things of that nature. We're gonna get two slotted wood. And then the rest will go for junk. I mean, there was even a handgun. The handgun's gotta be pretty valuable. This is all high dollar stuff. So I'm just going to take it. Yeah, we needed 17 junk, though. 8, 12, 15. Yeah, if we have the other two slots with junk, we'll be good. And then some of these runs you can actually do pretty fast. 
8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I mean, we could get that gun. We have two assault rifles, though. Okay, let's just run to the exit. The main thing is that we got those medical supplies because that is the high dollar stuff right there. Let's see what else is over here. Oh, this thing's like underwater. The boat is just a wreck. Day 12. So we went from day 9 to day 12. The night was calm. They know. They know what's up. Oh, now we're saw it. Man. Bruno, you're just bringing the team down here. Rosef. She's very tired. Okay, you can go make this. Go to bed. Let's get the alcohol started. That takes the longest. Actually have him come over here. Okay. <laughs> I guess food is more important than alcohol, though. Um... Okay, we could do the door. I think that that is the ultimate safety upgrade, or we could upgrade the workbench, right? Okay, no vegetables. We'll have to do without that consumed all of our water. Oh, to upgrade, we need a mixer. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to focus on securing the base. So once you have the door and a couple of weapons, I think you're you're going to be fine. And then in a few days, if we have a gun or multiple guns, they will consume some of the bullets to fend off the raiders. But it's all good. I think we're pretty much secure. We're definitely not finding a lot of wood, though. I'm going to hold off on doing the rat trap. We could do the mixer, though. And then let's see what we need to upgrade the metal workshop. Have her eat real quick. Yeah, I think Katya is a bit better at <laughs> the guitar than uh, Roman here. Okay, so he's gonna sleep at night, so we're good there. Do we have another consumable for the water? Yes. Let's see what it's going to take to upgrade the metal workshop. Okay. Wood, 15. Junk. Quick math, 23. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have to go someplace else to get all that, or if we could go back to the port. It seems like we could do one more poor run and be fine. 23 junk, six slots of junk, and then eight slots of wood. So that's more than she could even get. It's more than Katia could really haul. Hmm. 
I, t I say she goes back because there's two guitars and a handgun that we uh, left at the port. We'll make another alcohol. We need that trader to come by for sure. I don't think he's going to come by this time, though. Kati is going to get to get fully rested here. It's in the day. I don't think anyone's coming by. But he's tired, so Ramon sleeps next time. We'll go to port one more time. And not bring anything. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this um, episode here. I really like this game, and hopefully you're picking up a few tips and tricks. This game has a lot of replayability because you're able to go in and completely customize what you're doing. It's really fun for the scavenging and everything like this. This was Escape from Tarkov before Tarkov. Really? And I think that this game, that's why this game is uh, seeing some increased popularity. Let's back off of just that much wood. And then I think the rest we can fill up with junk. I'm not sure. Forget what was up here. It was just a teddy bear and whatever else I offloaded. Maybe a few cigs. Yeah. Toys aren't that valuable. I kind of want that handgun and the guitars, though. Man, there was a lot of material here. And you really burned through a lot of material in your base. Especially when, it, you know, the cost of everything is so high. We're gonna need those. Gotta feed that rat trap. These are actually quite expensive, but they're not really in high enough quantity. And there's our gun. Actually, there are enough of those. Hmm. This would be a good place to hit up. Like later after we had more crafting benches. All right, so we're going to run to the exit here, and um, I guess this is the little boat right here that you can escape from Pogren. All right, it's always exciting to see if we get raided. I don't think so, not this time, not with all the upgrades. Base, fully upgraded for defense, and the night was calm. Roman, Roman, it clearly isn't well he could do with some pills. Well, we got some pills, and he's very tired. Oh, man. Atia, you're hungry? Go over here. Actually, he should make it consumable. And, uh... After we finished carving up the city ourselves and the enemy, things got even uglier. Entire groups of civilians were brought in for questioning and much too often shot so as not to leave witnesses behind. I guess I wanted no part of that. I'm a fighter, not a murderer. 
right? Honorable. Okay, so we're going to stop here. I might do a couple more looting raids in between. And um, if we get to a point where something more interesting is happening, uh, we'll be back for that. All right, guys. You guys have a good night. Please consider giving me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.